Can't tell what that is yet, huh? Oh, but you probably already saw it in the title. Uh, today, I want to go back to one of the first songs I remember learning as a little kid. And it's Blowing in the Wind, Bob Dylan. Great campfire tune. Uh, you know, kind of a, a protest song on the state of life at the time. Uh, Anyway, but we don't need to go there. What I just want to talk about in Blowing in the Wind is this is a really simple folk song. It can be done with three chords, one, four, and five in whatever key you decide you want to do it in. Now, Bob plays a lot of his songs with random chord changes, meaning he doesn't always go to the same chord in the same spot in the verse or the chorus as he means to. He doesn't really care. Um, so his point is to sing you the song, and if the chords don't always match up, don't worry about it. I may do a bigger, long, a longer lesson on You Belong to Me. Is that the one? Uh, anyway, that is a great example where he sings through four or five verses, and it's not till about the fifth verse that he gets it the way he wanted it, I think. And that's the way the birds did it. But anyhow, that's uh, enough rambling about Bob. Um, so, Blown in the Wind can be done very simply with G, C, and D. How many roads must a man walk So that's one, one measure of one, G, one measure of four, two measures of one, and then that done again. In the second line, basically there are three lines worth of stuff in this song. In the second line, it's the same thing, one, G, to four, back to one, and the answer to that is one, to four, to five. So that's what's happening in the second line each time, and then the third line is just like the first. Now. Um, some variations, wait, let me tell you about the chorus first. The chorus goes to 4, C, D, G, and E minor is the best chord here. He only does this once in a while in different in the various recordings. I've listened to a lot of them, trust me. The best chord to use for your campfire version is E minor right there. And then back to C, and back to G. Now, two little variations um, that we can talk about. In the chorus, Bob really, in the, in the original recording, the one on, uh-oh, uh-oh, it's escaping my mind, um, bringing it all back home, I hope. Anyway, um, in, on that recording, he usually went back to C in that case. Also, well, depends. That recording is actually capoed way up the neck, too. So he's done this in a lot of different keys, a lot of different capos. You can do a song like this in any key you want, using any chords you want, as long as you kind of stay with the relative layout of where the ones go, where the fours go, and where the fives go, and six, if you throw that E minor in there. So, um, I am unnecessarily complicating this for a campfire song. I should just shut up and play it, huh? Wait, I have to tell you one more thing. And that is, in the second line, sixth measure, where you see a C chord. That's a really good place to throw in an A minor chord to break up some of the monotony, and he frequently does that in performances of it. So, two optional things that are not in the music. Sixth line of the sixth measure of the second line where it says C could be an A minor. And the fourth measure of the chorus could be a C. Again, I like E minor better. Here we go from the top. Oh, country type thing. Hit a bass note on the first beat. And the softer bass note on the third beat. you want. It doesn't really matter. Second line. I'm going to use the A minor here. Third line. And the chorus. That's it. That's all you need to be able to do to play Blowing in the Wind in the key of G. If that's too low for you, that's a reasonable key for me, because that low note G that it would keep coming back down to, the answer my friend is blowing in the wind. It's about as low as I can get. The answer is blowing. Ah, oh, it has an F sharp down there too that I couldn't even hit. So I would really need to either capo this or play it in the key of A. A would be much better. And I would use A, D, and E. Hopefully you can transpose that up a step.
if A would be a better key for you, or put a capo at the second fret. Okay, again, enough details for what is was supposed to be a three minute lesson on blowing in the wind, but a little bit more information could sometimes be good.